A new year means taking another look at your health. Well, for women, it's a good reminder to schedule your mammogram. But because of the passage of Hinda's law, the results can get a little confusing. Taking a closer look this morning, this law is named after a woman who found a lump in her breast that turned out to be a large malignancy. But it was missed because she had dense breast tissue. According to the Austin Diagnostic Clinic, 40% of women have dense breast tissue. So what does this all mean to you? Well, this morning, Dr. Michelle McDermott is a certified menopause specialist with the Austin Diagnostic Clinic. Good morning to you. Good morning. You you also recently authored an article about this confusion, and I've never heard of Hinda's Law, and you, you're telling me that it actually passed in 2011. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean for women? Well, the law requires that um, organizations that do imaging mammography of breasts for women to detect breast cancer, or screen for breast cancer, must inform a woman whether she has dense breasts or not. And the reason for that is because women who have breast density uh, are at higher risk for breast cancer. Breast cancers can hide in the dense tissue. It's uh, very white in, when the breasts are dense and breast cancers are also white. So it's like a snowman hiding in you know, a snowstorm mm -hmm. and so it's difficult to pick up. So it's important for women to know that because they may need to have additional imaging and their physician can advise them about what other tests they might need to do. Mm -hmm. And the, with the law came some requirements so uh, a woman is not going to be in the dark on whether or not she has dense breasts. Correct. As you know, the example of Henda, where Henda had a mammogram done, was told that it was negative, but meanwhile she had a cancer growing in her breast and she didn't know it. So now um, women who have dense breasts will have an opportunity to have other types of tests that might be better able to detect a cancer that mm -hmm. could be missed on a regular mammogram. Got it. And the first sign is going to be a letter that the physician must send to that patient. The radiologist uh, will send mm -hmm. the letter to the patient and then the patient uh, can be advised by their personal physician about what test would be the best test to do beyond okay. a mammogram. And so you're telling me, you're telling me, I'm just during the commercial break, that a lot of these letters are going out and the patients are calling the doctor going, what is, what is this about? Right, because they may have had had dense breasts before but never were informed. So um, now it, they will be informed and now they will know that they need to be aware and to think about other ways that they might be able to reduce their risk. It might influence their decision about whether they take hormone therapy or not and they might need to have additional screening uh, that they didn't know they needed before. Yeah, the good news is you, you can take more steps after the original mammogram. Exactly. It helps women to be more informed mm -hmm. and to, do, to be proactive. All right, Dr. McDermott, thank you so much for being here this morning. My pleasure. We're going to put all this information on our website at KXAN as well. And